I'm Joan London. Type 2 diabetes has struck way too many families in this country, including mine. I remember all too well when my brother was in his mid-20s. He was overweight, never exercised, and he was a smoker. I don't think it ever even occurred to him that that was a deadly combination. Looking back, he most certainly had pre-diabetes long before he ever got diagnosed with full-blown type 2 diabetes. Unfortunately, like most people, he knew nothing about prediabetes, and therefore he never made any lifestyle changes to lower his risk. Consequently, the disease really took over his life and stole his potential, and eventually my brother died of the complications of the disease in his mid-50s. Joining me now to discuss smoking and diabetes is Dr. Ann Albright, director of the CDC's Division of Diabetes Translation. Why are smokers more likely to develop type 2 diabetes than non-smokers? Well, the chemicals in tobacco cause what we call inflammation or an oxidative damage. Bottom line is it damages your cells, and the damaged cells will be contributing to the development of type 2 diabetes. So what happens when someone who's been diagnosed with diabetes continues to smoke? When you have diabetes, you already have damage going on to your blood vessels as a result of blood glucose control and other things. And when you add tobacco onto that, it really does harm those precious vessels that already are under stress. So it really is important that you don't smoke. And we all know that it's not easy for everyone to quit smoking, but I'm still gonna give you the last word on this one. <laughs> no question, don't give up. It's worth trying. It takes multiple attempts to stop smoking, so don't give up. And you can get help by calling 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Thank you, Anne. And if you want to learn more about the dangers of smoking and diabetes, log on to cdc.gov slash diabetes TV. We'll see you next time. I'm Joan London. Sponsored by NACDD with support from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Visit cdc.gov slash diabetes TV.